bright lights, loud music, and the crowd singing every word. Facing calls to cancel their tour, Arcade Fire instead put on their concert in Dublin as planned, even as some fans stayed home. I want to go see them. I do, but I can't justify it. Kate McCreesh and her husband James have gone to see the band nine times, from Atlanta to Edinburgh. Now for this show, they're demanding a refund. It is not right at all, so I'm not, I'm not going to support him. Over the weekend, music website Pitchfork published accounts from former fans detailing alleged sexual misconduct by frontman Wynn Butler. He told the website the encounters were consensual, but added, I am very sorry to anyone who I have hurt with my behavior. They should offer refunds to fans who don't feel like good about going to see them play. Just weeks ago at the Oceaga Festival, Arcade Fire reigned as Montreal royalty, a band that for years fostered an image as a family. With Butler and his wife Régine Chassang together, the face of Arcade Fire, racking up Junos, a Grammy, and fans worldwide. Band members even sometimes dancing in disguise amid their crowd. In a way, it feels like we were closer to our audience than we, than we have been before. Now, though, Indy 88 in Toronto and CBC Music across Canada are among the radio stations pulling Arcade Fire's songs from regular rotation, and some in the U.S. are doing the same. Almost all of the stations that I looked at that routinely played them dropped Arcade Fire by sometime probably on Monday. The band is scheduled to come play shows here in Canada at the end of the year to cap off their international tour. As it stands, no one is getting a refund. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.